The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. Its history is shaped by disaster after disaster. Asteroid and comet collisions, flares from the sun, mass extinctions, supernova explosions, cosmic ray bombardment. You name it, we've experienced it. We tend to think of disaster as a bad thing, but out of chaos can come possibility. When we destroy something, we can also create something new. Could catastrophe and chaos be the essential ingredients for life? Four and a half billion years ago, the solar system was still a pretty wild place. We're approaching the end of the formation of planets. Earth would still be growing. In fact, you wouldn't recognize the Earth at all. For example, no moon. The Earth did not have a moon when it first formed. The young Earth orbits the sun with other infant planets. One of them is an object scientists call Thea and it's on a collision course with our home. The impact melts rock and throws out over a billion, billion tons of debris. During this incredible collision, these two planets were literally broken apart and combined into one big planet. Huge chunks of Theia stayed together as the now molten Earth began to form anew. The giant slabs of Thea sink down into our planet and lie undiscovered for billions of years. Earth reforms from the ruins of both planets. When these two planets combine, parts of Thea's iron core merge with Earth's. So that means that Earth collected a much bigger core than it might have possessed on its own. This is good news for us because the core is the source of the magnetic field that protects us. Liquid metal flowing around in the outer core generates Earth's magnetic field, a protective shield from the sun. The sun can actually output billions of tons of high energy protons and electrons in a single burp. That eventually would have stripped away our atmosphere. If it weren't for that active core in that magnetic field, we would look like Mars, just sort of a bare and barren desert. Thanks to Thea's extra iron, Earth's molten outer core is large. So it cools slowly, staying molten, and keeps on generating a strong magnetic shield. The catastrophic impact helped life in other ways causing a huge disk of debris spread out from the Earth, out of which formed the moon. After the collision, the Earth tilts on its side and spins incredibly fast. A day only lasts a few hours. The moon's gravitational pull on our oceans creates tides and slows down the Earth's spin, creating a world primed for life. But then, the biggest bombardment in history smashes into the Earth. From the moment our planet formed, we've been under fire. 2021, a fireball streaks across the night sky in Europe. 2018, a 1,500-ton meteor explodes over the Bering Sea with 10 times the energy of an atomic bomb. 2013, an asteroid explodes over Russia, injuring over 1,000 people. The Earth is hit by quite a few asteroids every day. You see them as shooting stars, meteors in the sky. These events are violent and destructive, but these space invaders also brought something every living planet needs, volatiles. 
When we say volatiles, what we mean are elements that are really light and easily moved around, often they're gases. So that's oxygen and water and carbon dioxide and just all those light elements that are really important building blocks for life. Young Earth was a dry planet. Four billion years ago, a storm of giant asteroids and comets hits the Earth. Some are tens of miles wide. They bring the volatiles that help fill the Earth's oceans and build its atmosphere. But cosmic deliveries can both give and take. The importance of impacts for atmosphere could go either way. You could have a, a really big, really powerful impact that blows away the atmosphere of a small fledgling planet. Or you could have a bunch of small impacts of water-rich asteroids that are simply contributing water and volatiles and new chemicals to the surface that might help the atmosphere that's already there. Firing a mini meteor at 2,000 miles an hour into this chemical soup triggers a reaction between the basic organic elements, creating amino acids. We call amino acids the building blocks of life. Really, they're the building blocks of proteins, and life needs proteins to exist. But that's why they're so important. Without amino acids, there's no proteins. Without proteins, no life as we know it. The experiment proves that meteorite impacts can help build the components for life. Cataclysmic events go hand in hand with human evolution. Some knocked us back, and others, like the event 66 million years ago, gave us a push forward. 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid crashes into the Earth. It triggers a huge extinction event. Without it, humans may have never evolved. The impact throws trillions of tons of rock and dust into the air. The rocks heat up as they fall back to Earth, setting the planet on fire. The impact also throws up soot choking the atmosphere. Now the skies are blotted out by all these materials, so the sun is no longer shining brightly on the surface. Plants need sunlight to photosynthesize. Without this vital energy source, many species die out. With their food source gone, plant-eating dinosaurs starve to death. Followed, by their predators. Again, the dice roll is in our favor. Most dinosaurs become extinct, paving the way for the evolution of mammals, leading, eventually, to humans. Without the asteroid impact, we wouldn't be here. Before the asteroid strike, conifers and ferns dominated the tropical forests of South America. But afterwards, falling ash from the impact enriched the soil, and fast-growing, flowering plants took over. The impact was very hard to recover from, but it actually opened the opportunity for a greater diversity of plant life, which ultimately has benefited us as humans because it has allowed us to have more food sources. This new world order eventually gave rise to the modern Amazon rainforest, home to 10% of all species on Earth. It really destroyed and remade our entire environment. The world grew back, of course it did, here we are, but it changed everything. And another age, maybe just around the corner. We should absolutely expect that at some point in the future, and I'm not saying you should lose sleep over it, but at some point there will be another mass extinction. <laughs>